Volkswagen first introduced the Caddy name to its model lineup in 1982 in the shape of a golf based pickup. The first van appeared in 1995. Fast forward nine years and Caddy had reached its third generation and morphed into a fully fledged light van with integrated design. It was joined in early 2008 by a range of long wheelbase maxi variants. The latest fourth generation Euro 5 Caddy is the result of gradual evolution and takes it to the next level. The new frontal treatment brings it in line with the current transporter and the Amarok pickup and it gets an all new lineup of four cylinder common rail diesels all of which feature a particulate filter. Customers can now choose between a selection of 1.6 and 2 litre TDI engines at various power outputs. The former can be had at 75 and 102 horsepower, driving the front wheels via a 5 speed manual gearbox. The latter offers the option of 110 or 140 horsepower and a 6 speeder. For the first time in the UK, an all wheel drive 4 motion maxi also features on the price list. Eco models featuring low carbon blue motion technology can be ordered with the 1.6 TDIs and there's an option for 109 horsepower 2 litre eco fuel variants. These run on either petrol, compressed natural gas or bio methane. Load space remains the same as before with the Caddy providing 3.2 cubic metres rising to 4.2 cubic metres for the Maxi. As well as a van, the Maxi is available as a 5 seater window van. And as the name suggests, this has glass down both sides. A five-seater combi will join the lineup in early 2011, which has the rearmost side glass replaced by sheet metal panels. Payloads for the Caddy go from 681 kilograms to 766 kilograms, dropping slightly to a minimum of 620 kilograms and maximum of 753 kilograms for the Maxi. The former comes with six floor-mounted low tie-down rings while the latter gets eight. Fan derivatives come with an asymmetrically split side hinged rear doors, while the five seaters get a topped hinged tailgate. However, either can be specified as a no cost option. As standard, Caddy comes with a near side slide in side door, with an off side one available from the options list. Maxi models get the full complement. Thanks to the combination of a rake and reach adjustable steering wheel and a driver's seat adjustable for height as well as reach and rake, setting the correct driving position is a doddle. The instrument binnacle has been upgraded to match that of the transporter. The dials are white on black and could not be easier to assimilate. Remote central lock-in with dead lock-in is provided. But if you want electric windows and door mirrors, then it's a trip to the options list. We managed to get our hands on a Caddy and a Maxi Combi, both with the 102 horsepower 1.6 litre TDI under the bonnet. It never ceases to amaze us just how good modern diesels are, and this engine is a case in point. It's refined, smooth, and with the 250 newton meters of torque available from 1,500 revs, it's very tractable as well. The bonnet lifts high and is held in place by a single hydraulic strut to give good access to the engine for those regular fluid level checks. Despite having electromechanical power steering, the latest Caddy provides plenty of feedback to the driver and ride and handling are well up to par. We are very taken with this latest generation Caddy. There is an impressive lineup of models to choose from. The new engines are superb and it's a pleasure to drive. Following the introduction of the Amarok, all Volkswagen needs is a smaller van to fill the gap beneath the Caddy, and it will have a complete lineup of commercial vehicles.